It should have happened exactly six years ago. I shouldn't have been in prison for six years. I grant what Richard said to thank the uh, Foreign Secretary. I have, I do not really agree with him on that level. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to tell you that because I have seen five foreign secretaries changed over the course of six years. That is unprecedented given the politics of the UK. I love you, Richard. Respect whatever you believe. But I was told many, many times that, oh, we're going to get you home. That never happened. So there was a time that I felt like, do you know what? I'm like, no, I'm not even going to trust you because I've been told many, many times that I'm going to be taken home. But that never happened. I mean, how many foreign secretaries does it take for someone to come out? Five. It should have been one of them eventually. So now here we are. What's happened now should have happened six years ago. Uh, I think we all know this is... I'm assuming this is going to be public knowledge of how I came home. It's fair to assume. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to mention, I don't know the details. But what took me home now on the very same day, 17th of March 2022, that is the very same day that I left London, 17th of March 2016, to go on a two week holiday and I never returned. On, on the flight that I was coming back home with. But I think it should have happened exactly six years ago. I shouldn't have been in prison for six years. Mm -hmm.